for postcards from Buster is provided by the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, dedicated to strengthening America's future through education. And by the Gill Foundation and the Annenberg Foundation. Funding is also provided by the following. This program was also made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Stay tuned at the end of the show for postcards from you. Hey, Buster, where you up to? What you up to, Buster? Where you up to now? Where you gonna be? Who you gonna see there? Let's find out who says we'll shake. See the things you've done? We could have some fun there. Let's find out what friends we'll make. Buster, where you up to? What you up to, Buster? Where you up to now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ring around the globe from North Pole to South Pole. Riding on horses, ferries, trains, and planes. Hiking, biking, swimming at the seashore. He's got his camera and he's gonna explore all the new things he's never done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Buster, where you up to? What you up to, Buster? Where you up to now, 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 now? Hey, Buster, where you up to? La Belle Poutine. Carlos, did you see this latest rehearsal schedule? We're not going to have any free time in Montreal at all. I know, honey. I'm sorry. But it's our fifth anniversary. We were going to relive our honeymoon. You guys spent your honeymoon in Montreal? Oh, it's a very romantic city. The river, the parks. The people even speak French. What? French? I thought Montreal was in Canada. It's in the province of Quebec where everyone speaks French. But how will I get around? The only French word I know is aloha. Uh, that's Hawaiian. And relax, you'll find plenty of people who speak English. Oh, uh, Maura, you should listen to this track from our new album and tell me if the mix is off. What do you mean? Just listen to the whole thing and tell me what you think. Psst, listen, Buster. I need to ask you for a favor. Sure, anything. I've got a problem. I can never come up with a good anniversary present. She hated the blouse with the ruffles. Oh, and she wasn't too crazy about the miner's hat. And the less said about the guacamole machine, the better. I think those are great presents, especially the miner's hat. It's too bad they weren't presents for you. Mora did not like them. So the pressure's on to make this year's gift a really good one, and that's where you come in. Me? I need you to make a video postcard of Montreal. You can hit all the sights Mora and I saw on our honeymoon, since we won't have time to see them ourselves. So I'll have to spend all my time in Montreal going to mushy, romantic places? Bonjour, and fasten your seatbelts. We're about to land in Montreal. <laughs> Remember the rain and that stroll down the lane. The croissant in that sweet old cafe. You and I, hand in hand. Life was good, life was grand. C'est possible, a more perfect day. Je t'aime means I love you. It's easy to fall in love here in Montreal. Je t'aime means I love you. It's easy to fall in love here in Montreal. Hey, Carlos, I like your Montreal song. A little on the mushy side, maybe, but... Mushy's good, Buster. I'm gonna give her the song on our anniversary. Anyway, I have your first video assignment. Great. And what romantic place am I going to first? A park? A cozy restaurant? Actually, the hockey rink. The what? This is Canada. Maura and I went to a hockey game on our honeymoon and had an awesome time. <laughs> Hey, 
that doesn't sound bad at all. Carlos! Oops, Mora's calling me. Thanks for doing this, Buster. Dad, the hockey season's over, but maybe I can find some people playing if we just go to the rink. I think we're almost at the rink. Okay, let's see if I can remember that French Mora taught me. Excusez-moi, uh, uh, aloha, je ne... No, oh, it's hopeless. Do you speak English? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> My name's Buster. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. I was wondering if you could help me. I need to film people playing hockey. Do you think I could find that here? Yeah, we're having a pickup game. Oh, are you a hockey player? Yeah. So do you think I can come and watch a game? Okay. And remember the ring, our first hockey, I think. How romantic we thought as they played all oh, the crashes and the falls. The careening into walls, such sweet memories won't ever fade. Oh. What is that you're putting on? This is a shin pad. What else do you have to put on? I have hockey socks, I have shorts, shoulder pads, Neck guard, helmet, elbow pads. It's like a knight putting on armor. Did you ever think of figure skating instead? Yeah, I used to figure skate, but it got boring after a while. Hey, you have pink tape on your hockey stick and pink laces. I got them for a birthday present. Do the boys laugh at you for having pink laces? No. Well, I don't know if this is such a good idea. But if it ends Carlos's bad present streak, then I don't have a choice. Let's hit the ice. No, oh, but let's not hit the ice with my face. Yikes! Nice try. Watch it. I'm just the cameraman. That was it. Here, I got it. I got it. Whoa. And go. Woo! All right. High five. Hey, so, Jacqueline? Yeah? Was it hard when you switched from figure skating to hockey? When I first started playing hockey, I used to fall a lot. And every time I fell, I'd look at my mom and give her a thumbs up to tell her I'm okay and I wanted to keep on skating. Does it feel weird playing on a team with a girl? It's hard because she's the best on the team. So she usually gets the puck and the boys don't get as much the puck. She always comes by surprise and takes it. So that's why she gets the good goals. Is that in? Yes. So what do you do on defense if I have the puck? Okay, you're trying to get up to score, and I have to take the puck from you and pass it to my team's offense. I can't believe you can skate backwards so easily. You have to be able to skate backwards. Can you show me that? Yeah. Let me try that again. Okay, here I come. You're not going to take the puck from me this time. Ah, 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 she got it! How did you get that away from me? So I had the puck. You were stick handling. Yeah. And when you were stick handling, I poked in and I got it. Whoa! Who, who invented this crazy game? Well, the game of hockey came from Russia by Canadians. They played hockey in Russia with little, little wood sticks. And they always skidded across the ice with a little ball of snow or something. Well, I guess it makes more sense than basketball on ice. Yeah. But is it really a Canadian game then? Everyone in Canada loves hockey. So, who do you think will win the hockey gold at the next Olympics? Footage. I don't know how romantic it is. Oh, I'm sure Mora will love it. I even went out on the ice. 
I didn't know shooting a romantic video would be so dangerous. Well, I promise you, your next assignment will be less dangerous. I need you to go to La Belle Provence. Belle? Well, as in something you ring? B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. It means pretty in French. The pretty province. Hmm, sounds romantic. It was romantic for us, because that's where we had our first and only poutine. Your first and only what? Buster, I need you to film and eat a poutine. Okay, but remember, you promised this assignment wouldn't be dangerous. <laughs> Remember that. The little table where we sat. And we shared a poutine and then one more. We ate another. We were stuffed. We should have stopped, but ended up eating four. Here in Montreal. Oh, Dad, pull over a minute. Excuse me, could you make a romantic balloon for my friend's anniversary? Hey, Buster. A heart-shaped balloon. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Dad. Keep your eye out for love. There we go. Hey, those look pretty good. No, Buster. Stay focused. Hmm, I'm getting a little hungry. I think I'm ready for that poutine now. Okay, that should do it. Hey, Dad, that's where they said they'd meet me. La Belle Province. The pretty province. That's also what they call Quebec sport. Oh, there they are. Bonjour, guys. Hi, Buster. This is my dad, Bo. Hi, Bo. I'm a little nervous about this poutine. My friend Carlos wouldn't tell me what a poutine is. Does it involve snails? It's French fries and cheese with sauce. Sauce? A weird snail sauce? It's not weird to us. We eat it every day. We, um... Dad, what's she saying? Your friend just ordered a poutine. It was And poutine, s'il vous plaît. And another poutine. It was No. Um, est-ce que je peux avoir un hamburger bien cuit avec des frites, s'il vous plaît? And Alex got a hamburger? Um, no, rien, rien dessus. Okay, puis ton ami Buster, il va te manger quoi? Help! Could you order for me? Uh, and poutine for Buster. And poutine for Monsieur M. C'est bien. Merci beaucoup. Buster, I have some errands to run. I'll be back in a half hour. Have fun, kids. Okay, bye, Dad. Merci beaucoup. That's thank you very much, right? Merci. Well, it looks interesting. Adrian, you like poutine? Yep. What about you? I hate poutine. It's, it's evil. Evil? Oh, maybe I shouldn't eat it. They're all eating poutine. But how do I know they all haven't been poutineified? I better ask, is poutine evil? Poutine rocks. I don't like poutine. Poutine just tastes bad. The only reason why I like poutine is because of the cheese. But I love French fries and cheese and sauce. Well, how can it be evil? Let me see how they make it. Okay, they fry the potatoes, check. They get scooped onto a plate. Check. No evilness so far. Hmm, cheese curds. A little strange, but not so evil. Hmm, and that gravy's looking pretty tasty. All right, I'm trying it. Hey, not bad. In fact, it's really good. It sure doesn't taste evil. It's just evil looking. Like the cheese are are the eyes and the uh, and the fries are the arms and it's just evil looking. But it tastes delicious. I know, but it's evil. It can turn you evil too. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. Or is it? Buster, come on! We're going to be late for your soccer game. Coming! I'm just grabbing a snack. Buster. Buster! 
Kick it to me! I'm open! Buster, it is I, your plate of poutine. Do not kick the ball to Arthur. Kick it to that maple tree over there. It is open. Yes, the maple tree. Thank you, poutine. Buster, what did you do that for? We could have won the game! The poutine made me do it. The poutine, the poutine, the poutine. Evil! <gasps> Amazing! Tasty! Evil! Amazing! It was amazing. You ate a lot of poutine, Buster. Three plates. Good job, Buster. How could you do that? I mean, poutine is evil. Only time will tell. Hello? Buster, I'm in big trouble. I need your help. You're in Montreal, right? Yeah. I'm supposed to choreograph a dance routine by Monday, and I'm standing here in my leotard without a single idea. But I don't know the first thing about dancing. Yeah, but do you know who does? Ethel Bruno. She's a tap dancing legend who runs a studio in Montreal. But I'm busy making an important video for Carlos. Now you listen to me, Buster. Get a phone book, find Ethel, get some tap dancing on tape and send it to me pronto, or I'll turn you into French toast. Oh, and uh, thanks, Buster. Binky's the only one I know who can be scary while wearing a leotard. <laughs> Ethel Bruno. This must be the place. That's great, Dad. I'll see you in a little while. Um, excusez-moi? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Ah, English. Good. Are you Ethel Bruno? Yes, I am Ethel Bruno. I'm sorry to bother you. My name is Buster Baxter. Hello, Buster. <laughs> My friend Binky needs tap dancing help, and he said you were the best tap dance teacher in the world. Well, thank you for the compliment. Is tap dancing really hard to learn? Tap dancing is visual. It's the sound. You're going to listen. And you must talk with your feet. And it's rhythm. It's rhythm from the soul. Sure doesn't look easy. How did you learn? I learned, I come from Harlem, and I learned from a teacher by the name of Mary Bruce, right in Harlem over the Baby Grand Cafe, and I was with her from the time I was three until I left when I was in my 20s. So you've been teaching for? 50 years. 50 years? You must love teaching. I love passing on this love of tap dancing that I have. This is like if I'm in the candy store and I die and I went to tap dance heaven because here are all these people learning what I learned. And who came up with the whole putting taps on shoes idea in the first place? It comes from Africa because that sound, the rhythm of the feet when they took the drums became dance. How did it get so famous? This is the inspiration in this school. These are the masters of tap dancing. Gregory Hines, Mr. Henry Letang, Miss Diane Douglas, Sammy Davis Jr., all of my friends whom I study dancing with. And do you have any star dancers here at the studio? Oh, yes. Right over here is my five-time Canadian tap dancing champion. His name is Justin Jackson. Uh, I think he's just phenomenal. The judges said that he belongs on Broadway. Is there anyone who could show Binky how to do it? Oh, yes, I have Justin here today, and I have Shahid. They would love to show you. That's great. Let's do it. OK. OK, Binky, so here we have Shahid, the tap dancing wonder, and Justin, whose feet just may have been replaced with tap dancing machines. So what does my friend Binky need to know first? When you're just about to start, you have to start learning the A, Bs, and Cs. So you have brush drags. Brush drags. Very easy. Anyone can do it. You put your hands on your hips. Why? 
because if your hands are not on your hips, you're going to start losing balance, and that's going to be bad. You don't want to end up on the floor. So your hands are on your hips. Okay. And you bend your knees slightly, and it goes, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and five. And that's a brush strike? Very good, Buster. When you know your brush strikes, you can make it faster, which it sounds like. Let me guess, faster's harder? People, they have to be dancing for a long period of time to be able to go fast. How long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for seven years. I started when I was nine, and right now I'm 16. And how about you, Shahid? Six years. I started when I was three. Wow, I don't think I was walking when I was three. So how much do you practice? I practice like three hours a day, from Mondays to Thursdays. Is all that practice worth it? It keeps your body pumped up, it keeps you active, and it's really fun. Do you all dance the same? Well, everyone does not have the same style because everyone feels something different in their soul, and everyone has a different rhythm. Except I think my rhythm sounds like a tennis shoe in a dryer. Well, tap dancing, you can be the music, or you can be the instrument, or you can be the band, you can be anything. Your toes and your heels are two different things. Your heels are the bass drum. It keeps, it, it gives it that funky, that funky beat, you know? And like your toe is like the hi-hat. It's just like two different sounds and you can do so much with it. Phew, I'm out of breath just watching you guys. Do you ever get tired? Yeah, I, but I take my pump. You take your what? You have a pump? Cause I have asthma. Hey, I do too. Wow, but you're a tap dancer. Yeah. And your asthma doesn't get in the way? I take my pump before I dance and after I dance. So, Justin, can you think of something I can film that'll inspire my friend Binky? I'm gonna show you one of my platinum winning routines. Great! Watch and learn, Binky! Much, Miss Bruno. I'm sure this will help my friend. Oh, thank you, Buster, for coming. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye. Dad, Mora is going to love her present, and I got great tap footage for Binky. Oh, and did I tell you, Ethel Bruno gave me a coupon for a free tap dance lesson for him. Sounds great, Buster. Tap lessons. I've always wanted to learn tap dance. This is the best anniversary gift ever. Buster, you're a genius. You liked my romantic footage? What romantic footage? No, I'm talking about the tap dance tape you sent us with the free tap dance lesson coupons. Gotta go. Oh no, that means Binky got... Hello? Buster, uh, you sent me a bunch of people playing ice hockey. I'm sorry, I can explain. What are you talking about? You're a genius. I'm a genius? Gotta run! So I guess it all worked out. Except if Carlos didn't get my romantic footage and Binky didn't either, I wonder where it all went.
Buster sent you this? Francine, I think Buster's trying to tell you something. La -da -da -ya. Remember the rain and that stroll down the lane. The croissant in that sweet old cafe. You and I, hand in hand. Life was good, life was grand. C'est possible, a more perfect day. Je t'aime means I love you. It's easy to fall in love here in Montreal. Je t'aime means I love you. It's easy to fall in love here in Montreal. In love here in Montreal. Je t'aime means I love you. It's easy to fall in love here in Montreal. Today's postcard from you was made by Harper in Baltimore, Maryland. Hi, Buster. I am Harper Craven. I am 10 years old. I go to St. Thomas Aquinas School. These are my action figures. Let me show you some other stuff. This is my dog, Janie. I got her at the SPCA. She's a little tired right now. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Buster. Now I'm going to show you my hallway and my room. Now, follow me this way into my room. This is my room. My mom redecorated it a few months ago. So here, this is my bed. Uh-oh, I forgot to make my bed. This is my house. It is in Baltimore, Maryland. Well, goodbye, Buster. I really like your show, and I hope you really like my video postcard. Visit my very own Postcards from Buster website at pbskidsgo.org. It has games, recipes, songs, and my blog. That's my travel diary. And don't forget to visit your local library to continue the adventure. from Buster is provided by the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, dedicated to strengthening America's future through education. And by the Gill Foundation and the Annenberg Foundation. Funding is also provided by the following. This program was also made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs>